much like a pandemic, ganun din po ang nangyayari sa ating market. Pag may balitang dadating na ganyan, that uncertainty brings fear to a lot of people and they want to the risk. They want to avoid risk and they pull out. Only to find out that when the market feels a little more certain about how things are gonna unfold, they bring back their confidence into the market, prices recover, and once the crisis ends, once the war ends, iba na naman po ang nagiging mindset at nagiging optimistic ang mga tao looking forward. Hello mga ka-RFF, this is Rex Mendoza and I hope you are all well. Medyo nakakabawi-bawi na tayo dun sa pandemic pero biglang-bigla ito na naman ang isang tinatawag na black swan. Merong gera. And yes, we all know Russia has attacked Ukraine. And because of this, medyo sumama na naman ang movement ng Philippine Stock Exchange. Ang ating index bumaba ng 2.03% down to 7,212 at umakyat bahagya ang mining at oil index ng about 0.31%. Is this again a worrisome sight? Is this again bringing a kind of uncertainty that we all should be worried about? I guess we have to look again back at history to have a better glimpse of the way we're supposed to behave and act regarding this. Is this a time to revisit our investment strategy and change everything? Or is it quite an opportunity? Or should it be a time for us to step back and begin to understand how things will unfold first before we really get to act? I guess all of us at Ramper Financials find this to be a responsibility once again to put the proper things in perspective so that we better guide you in your investment journey. And none will help better than looking back at history. Now, unfortunately po, mahirap balikan ang Philippine Stock Exchange kasi wala pa naman tayong experience within the tracking of our index. That really dates back to a war. Ang totoo po, the Manila Stock Exchange was founded in 1927 Pero wala rin tayong masyadong data dun sa mga nagdaang mga gera, including the Second World War. Pero mas bata pa po ang Makati Stock Exchange. And when they combined, when we had all the data and all the metrics, abay, recent lang po yun. Kaya wala pa po tayong inputs regarding wars. And the real index and market that we can actually fall back on again is the Dow Jones Industrial Index of the United States. Kasi po, napakahaba na ng history ng index na yon. So silipin po natin, ano ba ang nangyari nung First World War? Alam niyo po ba nung pumutok yung First World War? Bumagsak ang stock market ng Amerika. Ang Dow Jones bumagsak ng 30%. 30% at sumunod po doon, the longest time in its history na nagsara ang kanilang stock exchange. Anim na buwan pong nakasara. Pero alam nyo ba ang nangyari noong 1915 nang nagbukas ang stock market ng United States? Aba, ang Dow Jones po after losing that 30%, abay umakyat po ng 88% in 1915. In fact, all throughout that span of time from 1914 to 1918, umakyat po totally ng 44% ang Dow Jones. So, bumawi po in the span of the war. Now, the second, which is probably something that interests many of us, ay yung World War II. Alam nyo ba, nung umatake ang mga Hapon sa Pearl Harbor, yung araw na mismo yon, bumagsak ang Dow Jones ng about less than 3%. At binawi niya yan easily one month later. And if you're going to be looking at the total war from 1939 to 1945, aba ay hindi lang po bumawi ang Dow Jones Industrial Index. In fact, from that span of time, umakyat po ng 50%. And maybe one of the most biggest debacles in recent times that we have all been part of 
would be the 9-11 tragedy. Alam nyo yung 9-11? Enough to bring forth stocks lower by 15% na binawi naman po in about two months. So what can we learn about all of these historical facts and figures? That markets during times of war actually drop because of all the uncertainty. Pero ang interesting po dito is the fact that they go lower once the uncertainty happens. Pagkatapos po ng uncertainty at alam na ng lahat na gera na nga, medyo bumabawi pa yung merkado after that. And after the war is through, obviously, people look optimistically into the future. So what does that tell us? Much like a pandemic, ganun din po ang nangyayari sa ating market. Pag may balitang dadating na ganyan, that uncertainty brings fear to a lot of people and they want to de risk. They want to avoid risk and they pull out. Only to find out that when the market feels a little more certain about how things are going to unfold, they bring back their confidence into the market, prices recover, and once the crisis ends, once the war ends, iba na naman po ang nagiging mindset at nagiging optimistic ang mga tao looking forward. Pero balikan po natin ang nangyari sa ating merkado noong Thursday. At sabi ko nga, medyo bumagsak ng over 2%. Interestingly, foreign investors bought into the market almost 750 million. Maaari bang ito ang nakikita nilang pagkakataon para makabalik sa ating markets? Remember, prior to the pandemic and during the pandemic, there has been a lot of foreign selling. Halos natuyo na nga ang foreign investment sa ating merkado. Pero ngayon, parang sila pa yata ang bumabalik while we are the ones getting spooked. Again, let me say that war brings uncertainty. And not a lot of people understand how this Russia-Ukraine war will affect the Philippines. At alam niyo po, maraming nasusulat, syempre talagang it's going to be negative for us. And why is that? Because number one, we're not an oil producer and oil will shoot up in terms of prices. Nakita na po natin yan. Over this weekend, it has breached $100 per barrel. So ang laki po ng epekto niyan sa atin because we are not an oil producer and we use oil in most of our industries. At yan po, dahil umakyat ang factor of production na yan na major input sa ating manufacturing at sa ating mga negosyo, ano po ibig sabihin niyan? Either one, magtataasan ng presyo or bababa ang margin ng ating mga kumpanya, challenging them into posting the profits that are expected from their operations. Yan po ang actual na fundamental impact. The other fundamental impact that's being driven by that is inflation. So magiging negative po dahil sabi nga natin, hindi masyadong nagtataas ang interest rates ng Pilipinas unlike the US because we have mild inflation rates. Actually, hovering at around 3%, which is less than the other countries around us. However, this development can negatively impact that and can drive our policy leaders to change their view about interest rates. And that is something to watch. Yan po ang importante sa amin sa Rapper Financials that we look at the actual fundamental impact hindi po yung lahat psychological at hindi naman fear ang nagdadala ng ating investment decisions. Which leads me to make you appreciate certain points. Number one, abe, kaya po umaakit ang oil and mining sector. Di ba, at times of war, nagkakaroon po ng drive towards the valuation of commodities. Abe, gera po eh. So, precious metals like gold will go up and then, the factor inputs for war and weapons, yan po yung tinatawag na mga metals and certain other commodities, nagsisiakyatan po yan. Kaya medyo pabor po sa Indonesia ang ganitong developments dahil napakatindi ng kanilang reservoir of tinatawag nitong mga commodities and they are also an oil producer to boot. So the effect on them will probably be positive unlike the effect for us. 
So before we get to fear and move and change our investment portfolio, tingnan po muna natin ang impact na mangyayari dito. Huwag po tayo kaagad na magbenta, huwag tayo kaagad sumunod sa bandwagon dahil baka po mag-recover agad yan, napakasakit naman for us because we made such a move at the wrong time. Again, we are here, we are going to be monitoring these developments and we're going to be giving you analysis moving forward. Sabi ko nga po, yes, this might lead to a certain hiccup, but that is within a certain period of time and we will need to have the discipline required to look at our portfolios and see the longer-term horizon. Because quite frankly, that's what we invested for. Huwag po natin kakalimutan. We're investing for goals. And your retirement in this war can probably have a very, very different horizon. So again, I hope you got inputs from this video. I hope that it put you in a better perspective, in a better psychological makeup so that you can have the proper confidence, the proper views and perspective that will be required in managing your investment portfolios. Again, this is Rex Mendoza from Rambler Financials. We'll see you on the next video. Blessings always.